Hi, this is Jackson Wang, and you're watching my exclusive iHeartRadio Ask Anything chat. And thank you so much for Romeo and most requested live for having me uh, to talk about my new single, Blow. And let's get right into the first question. Bia from Knoxville. Cool. How many times a day do you say blow now? Oh, especially because I'm in the middle of my press, like doing press and interviews and radio, uh, promoting the track. Uh, around definitely more than like 20, 30 times a day. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Alejandra from Mexico. What is your favorite line in blow? Um, I'm in the belly of the beast again. My dirty secrets that keeps me away. Don't stop now, you got me ready to blow. Yeah, that's my um, favorite line. Awasada from Thailand. Sorry, come. In a few years, I'll finish high school and will continue my studies. I still don't know what I want to do with myself. How did you find yourself? I want to be as good as you. You're my favorite idol. Thank you. Thank you, Awasada. Nong Awasada. I guess, you know, my little sister. Nong Awasada. I want to be as good as me. First of all, you got to set your goal way, way, way higher than me. Because I'm nowhere... Uh, I'm nowhere near my goal and my target and my dream yet, but I'm still working on it. What I can share is ask yourself what excites you, you know, what excites you and what do you have passion in? You know, it could be anything, you know, it could be, it could be exercising, you know, it could be playing video games, it could be anything, like literally anything. And then you, and if that, if you, if you feel uh, that truly like if you feel that truly makes you happy and that excites you, then try to just go deeper in it, you know? And, or if you have no idea at all, then just try everything. Try, try various things. You might even be surprised yourself that, oh, I didn't know I was into this. Oh, I didn't know I was into that. Just try a lot of different things. Let's say, let's say I love to play uh, basketball, you know, I love, I love to swim. And then I'll just try, try, try and, and try everything around it. And then if it turns out, you know, not the way that you want it to be, then you know you can always you does you, you you don't necessarily because you love swimming you don't necessarily have to be a swimmer. You could be like you could be like um, you know to do something about swimming. You know you could be like maybe do like the the. Um, the, the 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 designer of a swimsuit or like uh you know a creation of goggles you know or um yeah just something around it you know because because it's something that you still love i mean you the the passion and motivation just comes naturally mm. and um oh. I'm not really good at saying names, but Brel, Brie L from Astabula. Okay. What do you do to make a bad day better? I mean, along the process of, of um, hitting that target or, 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 or going after your dream, because um, I tend to realize that uh, the destination, like the dream itself, it's, that's that's the destination you know that's the destination that's that's like the the um conclusion and i treat like success as a bonus and and um and um there's so many things along this journey that is going to affect you like mentally physically like in every way so i think what makes me better when I'm in a bad mood or like having a bad day or like mental, like, you know, physically or, or like mentally, you know, I, I, I'm feeling negative. Um, I tend to treat it as just everything is noise, you know, everything is noise. 
and I focus on myself. I focus on, I just have to be better, like on this thing or on that thing. Either I'm performing, is my is my is my set, is my performance good? Like I tend to focus on myself, you know, when, whenever I have a bad day, making sure that I am uh, giving a hundred percent on this and that and this. Oh, I, I should improve more here. I should improve more there. Yeah, just focusing on myself, focusing on yourself. Yeah. Okay, Yolanda from the Philadelphia. Okay, how long do you think a world tour should be? I mean, I'm not sure yet because I'm still in the last process of um, the production of my album. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know, but if everyone wants it, if everyone that supports me or that loves uh, that can relate to my music or me as a person if they want it, you know, I, then I'll do it and I'm not sure yet Lisbeth Lisbeth from Houston. Do you sing in the shower? Yes, I mean I sing in the shower. I sing Anytime I want Besides in a library Samantha from the Philippines. Hey Jackson, I've been waiting for this opportunity for you to answer my question. What was your inspiration in making Blow? I really love the vibe and it feels like a theater. Okay, thank you so much. Honestly, like Blow is just the intro of my album Magic Man and uh, Magic Man is the name of my album. And the whole thing, long story short, is just about, you know, I don't want to spoil too much, but literally, like, like generally, it's about me, you know, the process of me finding myself, you know, deciding to, um, to, to drop everything, whatever I had, whoever I was, Jackson Wang, you know, to drop Jackson Wang behind, to put it aside and just move on, accepting who I really am or, or what I really feel inside all this time that was, was never exposed yeah so it's going to be a really really it's going to be a complete new me and i sometimes you know like while the process of making this album i, I, I kind of think that oh like i i kind of have this thought in my head that like jackson wang as a as a as, a, as an artist as 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 a singer you know as an entertainer that was like a character you get I me mean, in some way that was me too but it was like it's just different headspace right now and i'm i tend to put it away and put it aside uh for this album yeah for this album so yeah uh rita from nc what is a memory from your childhood always makes you smile um the always make me smile childhood was i oh childhood depends on what what what, what childhood is like 16 17 18 19 childhood no that's teenager right um childhood i think it'll be you know my parents bringing me to to the mart to a convenience store and get a lot of snacks or buy whatever I want. Um, that's why, you know, even even now, I, I'm a big fan of just grocery store shopping. Grocery shopping, yeah. Jerry from Burbank. Yeah, how was your recent LA trip? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I've, I've been here, I've been here, you know, from time to time, I'm always, I've been here a lot. And the thing is, I still don't know where to go. Since I was uh, a fencer, so over like 10 plus year, 12, 15 plus year, I, I was always traveling, you know? But it all, I've been to like a lot of different places around the world, but what you, what you have to know is, it's literally just when I was an athlete, airport, uh, hotel, and venue, and then hotel, and then, and then, and then, and tournament in the hotel and airport. And when I become like an artist after that, 
the same thing you know like pretty much the same thing but you know it's like airport hotel venue perform and then venue and then, and then a hotel and then airport it's just back and forth back and forth it's so although we had some moments that you know we went out and did our stuff like enjoy the city but it wasn't like a vacation mode you know what i mean so although the happiest thing is you know so so i get to see my fans we get to see our fans probably like my that's why i like my to-go place is cbs you know i love cbs and then and in la there's uh air one there's another place air one and then yeah it's just good and because everything i need just need to get my green juice you know some chicken bread some some this and that very convenient and i and i enjoyed it um <clears throat> but i would love to know more about like different restaurants or different um different places where the locals go <clears throat> samantha from guatemala guatemala i'm so sorry uh, yeah is there a chance we'll see you acting in soon i've always wanted to act and i just felt like i wasn't ready for it because i think the acting and the film industry it's just a separate world you know it's a separate world although we're all under entertainment but but you know it's a completely separate world with uh, with music so i felt like me as myself I, I tend to want to have like a basic knowledge or even you know about this industry first before i get in and and i think you know that's like respecting the, the the culture you know respecting the industry and i think that i need to prep myself well before i step in so i think now yeah definitely i mean i'm i'm open and um i'm ready to approach for opportunities yeah lala from brazil what can we expect from the new magic man songs uh a completely different me and as i said you know it, it, it's just about you know it, it's this is the process of, of finding my true self, what I've really believed in, and drop whoever I was and whatever I am, I was, just put it aside and um, it's like a re, re, rebirth. Nancy from Toronto, uh, where were you when you first got recognized in public? I think I was in Korea. Oh, I think, it was, yeah, it was in Korea. I think we did this variety show um, battling uh, other labels. Trainee. It was, it was Bam Bam, Mark, Yu Gyeong. Yeah, Young K. I'm sorry, but if, if I if I missed out anybody, yeah, but yeah, it was good. And, and then after that, after that after that show got aired and then i think i was in a restaurant i was just on the street that people were like oh you're the guy from blah 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 blah, blah. and i'm like are you sure like are you sure but yeah i'm very blessed i appreciate it yeah especially when people come to me and like you know they want to take photos or pictures i would love that because i know it's not it doesn't last forever so Yeah, spicy from Miami. Uh, two things: Are you sleeping enough? And what foods are you eating these days? Um, I think I'm sleeping enough, like more more than before. Around, yeah. Don't worry. And uh, what food? Um, a bit of this and that. You know, the sushi here is really good, and Vietnamese pho, 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 pho. Am I saying it right? I'm sorry, but yeah, that and. I've been having Subway, which is bomb. Uh, I love it. Yeah, I'm just having this and that. And, and, and the chicken breast. Um, oh, Chinese food too. Yeah. But it's amazing. The food here is really good. Dad from Toronto. How would your parents describe you when you were younger? Uh, a little bit of like... Uh, like a kid that can't stop like the kid the kid the son that can never shut down or like is always active and doesn't need to rest yeah beth and from dalton 
what's the greatest compliment you have ever received? Uh, uh, I think it would be, I can relate to your work. I can relate to your music. Uh, I, re I can relate to you as being an artist and I respect that. Yeah, I think that was the greatest ever comment to me. Yeah. Karina, Karina from Sarawak, Sarawak. I'm so bad at these, I'm so sorry. Yeah, today is my birthday. May I ask you to say happy birthday, Karina? Karina, happy birthday and have a great one and enjoy it. Spend this time with your friends, family, you know, just be happy and feel positive, yeah? Thank you. Thank you everybody for watching my Ask Anything chat. My new song is called Blow. Thank you again to Romeo and, and most which was re requested live for having me on this show tonight and to, 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 to answer all these questions. And I can't wait to do it again, 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 again. If anybody have, you know, any questions to ask me, I'm always here. This is Jackson Wang. This is Magic Man. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't put a, many makeup on, so maybe I'll look. Like, you can't see my brows, eyebrows, and I didn't put that many makeup on. I should have. But this is the raw me. Bye, guys.